In this video, I forced myself to do 10 healthy habits for a week straight. The habits included waking up at a consistent time, not going on my phone for the first 30 minutes of my day, making my bed, meditating, journaling, movement, cold showers, drinking two liters of water, 10 minutes of cleaning, and reading before bed. If you want to gain inspiration and see how these daily habits can change your life, keep watching. going to try to meditate but my room literally looks like disgusting so we're gonna be tidying it up for 10 minutes it was so weird brushing my teeth and doing my skincare without watching a youtube video in the background because i just can't do things without having some form of entertainment going on it's bad it's really bad i have to be watching a youtube video i have to be listening to music or i have to have a podcast on or else i'm not sane <laughs> My timer went off. I'm gonna do my laundry anyways. I have nothing better to do. Like, might as well do my laundry, you know? We're gonna separate. I'm gonna do colors, whites, and blacks. I'm literally just wearing my like outfit that I'm gonna be wearing to the gym and I'm gonna put this crew deck over it I have class right now So I'm gonna do that and then right after class is over probably do some homework and then I'll head to the gym guys Literally chapter 17. I read it last night and it made me sob I'm not sure if you guys can hear me, but I'm gonna be doing the chalk piece later right now. As far as like, as far as my water intake goes, this is my second meter of the day. Yeah, let's do this, baby. I need to mentally prepare myself for this because I'm not ready. I've never taken a cold shower in my life. Like, how the heck am I supposed to go in there and take a cold shower? <sighs> But I'm literally just doing this because someone told me that I should take a cold shower and that it's very beneficial for my health. You can't knock it until you try it, besties, okay? Ugh. It was fine, though. It's fine. Let's do this, besties. Ah! <laughs> I don't want to do this, bro. Mm -hmm. Literally, I'm already cold. Okay. It's so cold! Ah! I'm scared! Ooh. You can do it, bestie. You can do it. Give yourself a little pep talk. Okay, okay, okay. Bro, like literally, ugh, I have goosebumps on my legs, bro. <laughs> my body is shivering. <laughs> my body's kind of getting used to it though. Just give it like a minute or two. <sighs> Y'all, I'm freezing. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I think it's so important to acknowledge that sometimes mental health can definitely interfere with our ability to be productive. Literally sometimes like making my bed is so physically and emotionally exhausting that I just don't have the energy for it. Most times whenever I'm going through it and I'm, you know, hashtag struggling, talking to an entrusted adult or a friend almost always helps me. So I'm so happy to share today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an affordable option for anyone that is seeking professional therapy from their comfort of their home anytime, anywhere. BetterHelp is not a crisis line, it's not a self-help line, but rather it's a convenient way to help foster personal growth and healing. Do a spicy little Q&A and they help match you with a therapist. If you don't end up vibing with your therapist, you can always request a new one free of charge. If you want to check out BetterHelp, go to www.betterhelp, H-E-L-P, slash Adriana Noriega to get 10% off of your first month of therapy. It's so much more affordable than traditional therapy and it also offers scholarships. So definitely check it out if you've been hashtag struggling. Join the over 4 million users and take charge of your mental health. Let's get back to the video. I'm going to be doing Christian-based meditation. The concept is that you are just still in the presence of God and that you allow yourself to just receive from the Lord. A lot of people, people being me, overthink and overanalyze, get a little bit stressed and overwhelmed about the simplest of things. Just stepping back and doing a little meditation might help. <laughs> Oh my god, 
gosh, guys, it's literally 1 a.m. No, ah, but it's so good, guys. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to actually put a timer moving forward because if I do this to myself, I'm literally like just gonna keep reading. So yeah, good night, guys. See you tomorrow. <laughs> makes absolutely no sense like my thoughts just be wandering like but anyways i literally feel like i can fall asleep low-key i only did that for like four minutes but oh i did it for six minutes okay i'm gonna put away some laundry right now This is so depressing. Literally in the span of like five minutes, I broke another nail. So yeah, not a vibe. So I'm gonna do like some form of movement today. <laughs> I still haven't taken a cold shower. I'm still literally wearing my PJs though. I think we're gonna have to do that sooner or later. I just don't feel like it, guys. I'm gonna be walking to the gym right now. I have literally no desire to go to the gym because I know that I'm gonna have to come home and take a shower and anyway, let's go to the gym and get some gains. Oh, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. It's literally no difference. That's, let's go, bestie. <laughs> the quickest body shower of my life because there's no way I'm gonna be in there for more than like three minutes it is all in my head the moment I do it oh, I'm so cold. this is some good stuff right here I thought it was gonna be a little bit more easier but it wasn't not at all oh but yeah we did it baby sleep good last night so i'm really tired and i wish i could have just let myself sleep in yeah that's what adriana gets for reading again till 1 a.m <laughs> wash my face and get ready for bed i just have like 16 ounces more of water to drink night besties see you tomorrow fourth day baby also i'm hoping i'll be able to get my nails done tomorrow because look how crazy it look like not a vibe anyways good night guys love you guys
literally 6 or 6 p.m. and I have yet to take a shower. I have yet to go to the gym. I have yet to clean anything. I've literally just been on my laptop for the past eight hours. I'm starving too, so I probably should get food. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> One, two, three. <gasps> it literally only takes like maybe a minute max to get used to it. I'm gonna shower. See you in a bit. to be up in literally five hours from now. I'm gonna go ahead and just read a couple pages, literally three minutes in a mouth. so musty. Anyways, I'm exhausted. I most likely will take a nap later on in my day, but obviously we're not gonna take a nap five minutes after waking up. That sounds empty, but we're not gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna do some meditation right now. Guess who hasn't left their bed after seven hours of editing? This girl. It is currently 3 p.m. right now, and I have yet to do like eight out of 10 of the things that I need to do for this challenge. So we're going to do a quick journal entry. I'm gonna use my five minute journal. So I have no idea how in less than three days my room has suddenly become disgusting. So we're gonna have to clean it, but I don't have time right now because I have to go get my nails done because as you guys know, I broke them while freaking doing laundry. I honestly have been loving doing this. This is probably the first week that I've done my five minute journal every single day. I don't really like doing this type of journal entry late in the day. This type of journal should definitely be done in the morning and not at three in the afternoon, but it's okay. We're still gonna do it. I'm also freaking sweating. So yeah, we have to get changed. <laughs> this footage, what is besties it is a whopping 1 52 a.m and i still have three more things to do i still haven't taken a shower today i still haven't done my 10 minutes of cleaning and i also obviously haven't started cleaning at all yet what i'm gonna do right now is a quick cold shower i think that might wake me up a little bit because guys i'm so exhausted let me do a little vent tangent type thing as much as i love doing these habits and i think they're great i honestly don't think that all of these habits are super sustainable some days i'm going to want to sleep in and i'm going to need it like my body is physically going to need more rest. I think reading before bed is a freaking vibe. But I'm pretty sure that if I open up my Holy Hoover book, I'm going to want to read like 20 pages and I just, I can't do that right now. I'm exhausted. I just want to go in bed right now and fall asleep, but I can't do that because I need to do these little habits. You put so much pressure on yourself to have to do these things every single day. It's a little bit unrealistic and unreasonable and not sustainable. We're gonna go take a cold shower and then we're going to be tidying up my room. Cold shower time, yay. <laughs> Bro, my butt cheeks went. <laughs> Y'all, how do you do this? Oh! Fudge, bro, that was hella loud. I love how this video is supposedly me doing healthy habits for a week and legit this is the most toxic habit that I have is forgetting that sleep exists. It is literally 4 17 a.m. and I have to be up in 3 hours and 43 minutes. Anyways, I'm most likely going to continue editing because I just have like this burst of motivation to just freaking finish the video. Why am I still awake, bro? I have to be up at 30. <laughs> this does not feel healthy at all. Good night, guys. <laughs> Two hours. Guys, I have no 
idea what to do because like literally there's no way I'm gonna survive. Uh, I can probably like pump freaking caffeine in my veins. But this just doesn't seem like a very healthy choice. So the only alternative I can possibly think of is that I go back to sleep. <laughs> I am just tired. I'm just like, I don't know. I can't. later go in right now but anyways i've been trying to fill this outro for the past like hour and a half it doesn't matter so i kind of wanted to talk about the pros and cons of these healthy habits i think for a lot of people doing 10 productive things every single day can be a little bit draining and it definitely was for me which is why i kind of wanted to shed light on things that i loved about doing these healthy habits and then also things that i wasn't necessarily a big fan of waking up at a consistent time i decided to wake up every single day at 8 a.m i've always seen like these tiktoks all the time talking about how you should wake up before 8 a.m your life is going to change and honestly guys i feel like my life changed for the worst I was so freaking grumpy like throughout the whole day. I was just so tired I definitely was hashtag sleep deprived and it was not a vibe However, I will say that while I was not necessarily feeling my most energetic self I did feel so much more productive and like I had a longer day I was even able to do some things that I wouldn't normally do in my day going to the gym For example, like if I wake up at like 10 o'clock Typically, I don't go to the gym because it's just too late waking up early and waking up at the same time every single day is not a one size fits all if there are people they can wake up at 5 a.m they're early birds and they love it and they thrive off of that and there's people like me that don't mind staying up super late and waking up early a habit that i genuinely really loved and honestly at first i was kind of a little bit like eh about it because i was just so used to going on my phone first thing in the morning and watching youtube videos and tiktok like i said i definitely do think that it was a little bit different for me i wasn't used to not checking my phone in the morning it was so foreign to me but I genuinely think that by not checking my phone first thing in the morning and just kind of having my own time to myself It allowed me to be more intentional about my morning routine And it also helped me so that I wouldn't be stuck and cling to my phone the rest of the day I was actually reading an article and it was talking about dopamine and how the first thing that you get dopamine from Is typically what your brain is going to look for for the rest of the day Which is why I think that my screen time was able to reduce itself from literally six plus hours to around three hours a day like i just think that's freaking insane something as simple as not going on my phone for the first 30 minutes of my day helped me to reduce my screen time by about like 49 percent that's just wild i was also a really big fan of making my bed first thing in the morning by starting off my morning with doing something productive it made me feel like i already accomplished something so i definitely think that that was very helpful however i have actually read articles that talked about how if you do make your bed first thing in the morning it can potentially cause dust mites to form it would be a little bit wise if you chose to maybe hold off on making your bed first thing in the morning maybe just making it after breakfast or something the more you know the charge to he i can't say that making your bed every morning is correlated with better productivity a greater sense of well-being and stronger skills at sticking with the budget in other words this could be one way to build a series of good habits so yeah the next thing i want to talk about is meditation i was actually kind of new to the whole concept of meditation i have done meditation in the past i did some research on meditation and like the benefits of it even just for five minutes a day relieving stress being able to just focus more clearly i do think however that it can get a little bit discouraging sometimes when you are meditating for the first time it was weird when i was just like wow i'm doing a good job and then i realized and i'm like telling myself like whoa probably shouldn't be talking to myself right now probably shouldn't be having myself up if i'm not even doing meditation right you know what i mean it definitely takes practice literally try to quiet your mind as much as possible i know how hard it can be because my mind literally just like goes everywhere all the time meditation takes time so don't feel discouraged if the first time you do meditation it uh, takes a minute for you to find that sense of peace and calm i look at kind of preferred doing meditation towards the end of the night as opposed to the morning but you know everyone has their own opinions on that that's what i prefer to each their own whatever works for you bestie journaling i don't really think there's like any cons to journaling i guess the only con i could possibly think of is sometimes you just like run out of things to write about specifically with 
my five minute journal. Gratitude is one of the big things that I love about my five minute journal, but sometimes it can get a little bit stressful because I feel like I wrote mom and dad every single day for the past week. Like I gotta change it up, you know? Overall, love journaling. It really helps me to get in tune with my emotions and just like my thoughts. Movement. I think movement is great, right? Like everyone should be moving their body if you are able to do that. However, there was just days, guys, where I just did not feel like going to the gym and it took so much out of me to just get out of my house and go to the gym. Guys, it is literally exhausting. I don't know how there are people that can wake up at 5 a.m. and just go to the gym, be there for two hours and like weight lift and all that stuff. Like I just can't do that. Hopefully I will get there eventually. The fact is that I went, you know, and I moved my body a little bit and I was definitely a lot more active than I was the week prior with my um, 600 steps a day. I don't think it is reasonable to tell yourself that you have to work out every single day. Light movement is probably the best way to go about it. I'm not gonna tell myself I will go to the gym every day for the next seven days. That's just not realistic to me. Sometimes I'm just not gonna go. Literally, it's 720 right now. I'm not trying to go to the gym. Like, I was thinking about it. Not anymore. Cold showers was literally something that I did not think I would end up enjoying. Mentally preparing yourself to go into a cold shower is probably a little bit more difficult than it is to actually be in the cold water for like 15 seconds and wait for your body to get used to it. But yes, I was cold, but like, I don't know, it felt good low-key. It helped me be so much more awake if I ever do do cold showers in the future. I don't think I'm gonna be taking cold showers in the night. They were not relaxing in any way, shape, or form. I love my hot showers and I would not give up my hot showers. I like my showers steamy, freaking burning my skin. That's the type of showers that I enjoy. 10 minutes of cleaning. Honestly, it kind of felt so much like a chore to clean. And I know cleaning is basically a chore. I am the type of person that genuinely likes cleaning. It was a little bit hard to find joy, I guess, from just cleaning for 10 minutes a day. For some people, that can be helpful. But for me, it just wasn't a vibe. I prefer having one day out of the week where I deep clean and I get my crap together as opposed to like doing it every single day. Like, nah, bruh. I did like having a clean space though, so I will give that habit that. Drinking water. Do you think I actually drink a lot more than just two liters, which is why I probably went pee so much. I kid you guys not, my pee was clear. I'm not gonna go into the details, but I definitely was so much more hydrated. My visits to the bathroom, there was more of them. There was a couple of times hanging out with friends and I literally just had to have like a big old jug of water with me. So it was a little bit annoying, but overall genuinely really liked drinking water. I also felt like my skin was just freaking glowing because of the amount of water I was drinking. So yeah, I love drinking water. Here's your reminder to drink water. Water. And the last thing I want to talk about is reading before bed. This one is a love-hate relationship type thing And it's literally just Colleen Hoover's fault like it's no one else's fault but hers She writes books so freaking well each Turner type books I was basically switching me being on my phone for like 30 minutes before bed to like reading 30 minutes before bed Sometimes I wouldn't just read for 30 minutes I would be reading for literally like up to two hours and that was just not good for my sanity But I kept wanting to read more pages it caused me to be a a little bit more sleep deprived than I would have if I would have just not had to read. I love reading. I think it's great. If you do want to add that into your night routine, definitely would recommend. I'm actually kind of on a little reading kick, so I'll be sharing more about that in future vlogs. I've been on booktube and I am obsessed. I really do encourage you to try out these habits. Obviously, not all of them are gonna be beneficial to you. There's gonna be some that you probably just don't vibe with and that is okay. Some of these things you can definitely apply and other things you can probably just mess with, before you find a balance of habits that works for you. It was great to just kind of get out of my comfort zone and do things that I would have normally not done, like taking cold showers. Shout out to my girl for actually like recommending me to do that. She was actually the one that inspired this video along with Michelita Bellito. I have no idea how to say her name, but I saw her video. This one, go watch it if you haven't already. Full credit to her. I love you guys so, so much. I hope to see you guys in the next one. God bless and goodbye.